land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, well this land was made for land, now the sun came shining, and I was strolling Oh, the wheat fields waving And the dust clouds rolling And our voice was sounding As the fog was lifting I said this land was made for you and me well, this land uh, I would put somebody in the White House who highly qualified and whose job it was, his sole job, was to rebuild the city of New Orleans. And I would have that person, I would have that person in my office every morning telling me what they did in New Orleans yesterday. Yeah. The same thing you just said. Now, what you going to do six months from now? I want to know what you did yesterday. Yeah. And then the following morning, I'd want them in my office telling me what they did yesterday. And I, think, I also think that most of the country is not aware the way you all are aware of the fact that any the rebuilding that's being done is being done by the folks here. You know, there's not much help. The people we just saw that walk uh, before we came over at the school, the, every one of them told us they're not getting any help. They're doing what they're doing, trying to put the pieces together, right? Uh, the best they know how, but <clears throat> America needs to be there for New Orleans. That's what it boils down to. And we have responsibility. There is a lot of poverty uh, in this area. There's poverty throughout areas of Canton. I would say there's problems in the sawmill quarter of, of Canton. There's problems in the oil mill quarter, both of which are predominantly black areas. Yeah. And so, but this, at this point in time, is a predominant Hispanic area. But this trailer park came here in 1979. It was supposed to be temporary. It hasn't been temporary. It's still here. This is 2007, and this trailer park is still here. And it's been there ever since, and now it's home to many, many of the Mexican population that work here at the, uh, in the chicken industry, the poultry industry. And what's the wages over there? Do you know what they get I paid over there? I don't know the wages. I'm, I'm thinking minimal wage. Mm -hmm. I know they're very hardworking people. Uh, and so when they finish the plant, they, they just walk over here and they this is where they live in this They live, park. they walk over here and they walk around the area to the local shopping areas and do their shopping. Uh, and uh, you, you see them all the time, the Mexican people. Uh -huh. It's a very sad commentary in regard to America, the richest nation on earth the most affluent nation on earth that we have this kind of, and you have to say slum living conditions. When you walk through there, you will see that that's not an overstatement. Slum living conditions in America uh, should be outlawed. They, sh they should not exist. This is not, it's not 37 million like a number on a piece of paper. These are, these are mothers and fathers That's and right. children yeah. who go to bed every night, who get up in the morning worried about having food to eat, who don't know where, so many times don't know where they will sleep the next night. And that's why we as a nation have to deal with this. Now, do y'all, all of y'all work part, do y'all part time? Yes. Are you part time because you want to be part time or are you part time because you ain't got any choice? We don't have that option. What, talk to me about that, what does that mean? We're contract workers, so we are not state workers, so that's why they consider us part-time. <laughs> Y'all, all of you basically have been working for many years. That's many, what it yeah. sounds like. Many, many so you're years. not afraid of work, no, and you want to help people, but you just, uh, what I'm hearing you say is you want to you want to earn enough money to be able to support your family. Right. And right. hey, you want to be treated right. That's right. You want to be treated right. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. Now, I want to make sure I understood about the overtime thing. So, are, do you get paid for overtime or you don't get no, paid for overtime? No, no overtime. No overtime. Okay. And no vacation. 
And you don't you don't get any vacation. We don't get any vacation. Well, let's go through it one at a time. No, no vacation. And no sick no sick, no sick sick no sick leave. There are a number of things we need to do. Number one, we need to have a government and an administration who enforces the law and enforces it vigorously. And that includes making sure overtime is paid when it's supposed to be paid, making sure the minimum wage is being paid uh, for workers who are subject to the minimum wage, making sure that OSHA standards and safety regulations are being met in the workplace. Uh, I also believe we need to raise the minimum wage. Uh, it's at 7.20, it will be at 7.25 an hour based on what Congress have done, has done. But it ought to be at least nine and a half dollars an hour. And it ought to be indexed to half the average wage so that it goes up automatically. And this is by the year 2012 that I'm talking about. Uh, and so these are the kind of things. Enforcement of the law, making sure that there aren't overtime and minimum wage violations, ensuring that the minimum wage in fact goes up uh, so that people can support their families. And I would just add on top of that, uh, a universal health care system for America so that all these workers uh, get the health care that they need and, and don't have to be worried about whether they're, when their children get sick what they're going to do. And then last but not least, you heard the stories about what happens when one of their uh, one of their children gets sick and they need to take their child to the doctor. I mean, it just should be the law in America that every worker, including low-income workers, get at least seven days a week of, of paid sick leave. So that if they need to be out because they're sick or because their children are sick, uh, they can get the medical care for, for themselves and their children. Gulf Stream waters, well, this land.